Hi, this is Enyo. And recently, recently meaning some months ago, I've been asked whether I can make a video that is about meetup ideas. As some of you might know, I have been moderating my comm for about three years and we're a pretty small comm, <laughs> so you can tell that managing eight women is easier than 50 and some of the people I know manage comms with 55 people, so this is none of my concern. I collected some meetup ideas over the years that I have done that I have loved and also that I wanted to do but we never did so maybe this is some inspiration. <laughs> I will give you ideas for five certain categories of meetups that you can also change a bit into so they fit your car or maybe you want to do them yourself. This is always an option and I encourage you all the time everyone go outside in Lolita and do your own shit, like be by yourself. This is such a nice experience and maybe I should do a video on that too. But being a lone leader has so many benefits. Trust me, there are positive signs. We have the following options. Budget ideas, high tea ideas or expensive ideas, at home meetups, sustainable meetups, and one in a million meetups, which is like so exclusive, you're likely not going to do that again. My favorite type of meetup is the one where I don't have to spend much money because I'm broke as shit. So here are some ideas for budget options. A picnic. I know this is really creative, but a picnic is cool, especially if you are living in weather conditions that allow you to go outside, unlike here, where it's just misery. Tell everyone to get their favorite food, to make food themselves, and before you do that, collect food allergies or anything people wouldn't eat. My com is mostly vegan, so whenever we make a picnic, we just say just use vegan stuff. <laughs> We're not supposed to use pineapple and I think tomatoes. That's the allergies I know of. <laughs> get yourselves blankets, don't forget these, and get to your local park and have a nice picnic. Crafting is a thing, because I fucking love that. As you might have noticed, I made all of these myself. I mean the, what are these called? Neck bracelets, I can't speak for shit. <laughs> a crafting meetup is a place where you can make stuff yourself and be taught things. Maybe you don't know how to make a necklace. Well, I gotcha, because I have the tutorial on my channel, but if someone else in your com wants to teach you that in person or wants to show you something else, you can do that at a craft meetup. You can decide pretty much on any topic you want to use. You can go for a jewelry making one. You can go make clothes. You can go knit. I don't know what you guys can do, but anything that makes you feel like an old wise woman having fun with her friends this is the way to go <laughs> repair day you pretty much like i and i think pretty much any other Lolita have something that need fixing whether it's a thread coming out there is a hole you can't remove that stain things like that that are really small that maybe you stack and collect over the, the months and years and then at some point you decide I need to do this because the pile is not getting any smaller. This is the perfect meter for you. Basically all your core members bring stuff with them that needs mending or repairing in any way and you help each other because some people are better at fixing jewelry and some people are better at mending clothes. So you can just bring your shit there, get it fixed, fix other people's stuff and go happily home. One that I really liked was a crime dinner. Basically this is a board game where people play certain roles and one is the murderer and you have to solve this murder. Usually it comes with recipe ideas so you basically eat in between playing so you're not getting too hungry and you can make this into a Lolita version. You can make it Lolita or you can't. We definitely didn't. I was like, I was a dude. I was muscular as fuck. I was a drunk heart and would start any fight, which basically is me without the drunk part and the man one and the buff one. I'm just starting fights. Anyway, I find crime dinners to be really entertaining. It needs a bit of preparation because you need everyone to be available at a certain time and place 
and usually they get really late because it's a dinner. <laughs> this game lasts about like four or five hours, but it's cheap as fuck because you can rent these games at your local library, at least I can. So you can all just go there, get some food, have fun, and leave. The other budget idea is a dress up. Basically, we have one Lolita in our com that really loves bittersweet but hasn't tried it yet. So this meetup is perfect for her. Basically, you choose one Lolita, you get to her home, and then you court. Basically, she picks out a main piece, a JSK, an OP, or a skirt that she has problems dealing with. Because sometimes you come up with the same courts, with the same dress, and you mind it. If you don't mind it, go ahead, more power to you. But some people want to wear different things with the same clothes. <laughs> so the challenge is everyone gets to make an outfit, every single Lolita that is attending, you make photos and in the end the best one wins or you all win and then you go eat maybe you noticed my com is eating after every meetup <laughs> yeah we love eating the next one is a flea market hunt basically at my place i'm pretty sure your place what the fuck too there are flea markets and maybe you will find stuff that are reliable i have fine stuff that fits lolita i have also found stuff that does not in any way, although people wanted to tell me that it is Lolita. And you can set up a goal for your calm. Let's say, in this flea hunting thing, I want you to find a blouse with a matching necklace. And all of these things need to match a certain skirt. And important, these things have to be kept. So they have to fit one Lolita that likes these things and that wants to wear them as well. Because you're not buying shit and not using it. That's not what we want. Museum meetup. Where I live, some museums are free on specific days. So you don't even need to pay money for that. If you are on welfare of any kind, you usually get a discount. Or if you're disabled in any way or have an illness, you can get discounts too. Students do that as well. So you basically can enter a museum, look fancy, and then go in afterwards. If you want to shell out money and you want to make a high tea, these ideas are for you. high tea and go OTT. I know, super creative, but if you have a place where you can basically sit around in a long table and have a drink and eat your tea like this, this is a place to make a high tea. You can invite just your calm, you don't even need other people, maybe just even a part of your calm because usually not everyone can on the same day. Go full OTT. I'm talking about classic Lolita with bird cages without a bird on her head. I'm talking OTT suite with these gigantic wigs that have gigantic, how do you call these, pigtails. I'm talking gothic that is so black that your soul feels inked. Go absolute mayhem. And also, don't forget to drink your tea like this, because it's only OTT if you put your little finger like that. You can also make a themed tea, meaning you have a specific kind of theme going on that might be Alice in Wonderland, I don't know, it's really popular, so we go with Alice in Wonderland and everyone needs to kind of look like Alice in Wonderland. Why is this expensive? Maybe you want to rent a space so you can all not just sit around and eat or play card games or whatever you do on your meetups, but you can also make and decorate the space. Maybe it's a place where you can celebrate birthdays. So you can also get up some decoration and make this whole thing feel greater, more realistic, more full of dedication, I think, was what I wanted to say. <laughs> Do you have a local botanical garden? Do you think they need a photo shoot? This is a place to go to. If you have a botanical garden or a park, go there and take some photos. You might even want to ask the people running this botanical garden, which is usually your city, um, to help you with that. Maybe they find this idea so great that they want the pictures in return. Maybe you can even sell a specific part of the garden, like sitting at the specific lake. 
being next to a specific tree. I don't know what your botanical gardens have, but you can go there, learn about nature, which is really cool, and maybe even promote the whole garden with the staff working there. I forgot my makeup. I just noticed I forgot my makeup, but we're rolling with it. Fuck that. You don't need makeup to be Lolita, okay? Go to a theme park. Some theme parks like Disneyland have a designated Lolita day. I'm not kidding. Some theme parks might not, especially if it's a smaller one. But prior to going there, check with the people if you're allowed to come in there, because Lolita is really prominent and some people might mistake you for staff and you don't want to do that. Some theme parks also have a specific theme going on. There's like theme parks depicting the Wild West. There's theme parks about astrology. There's lots of different places you can go to and maybe you make your whole meetup around this idea. Also make sure if you go on a roller coaster, don't wear this. <laughs> Try to keep it theme park friendly, otherwise you will be the one looking for her head bow 50 meters next to a ferris wheel. <laughs> go to a really long name, which is the planetary observation space. My com went to one and it was fucking amazing because there was even a show. We couldn't sit next to each other because we had booked our tickets way too late, so we were just sitting next to random people. It was fine. Just saying, if you want to see it as a group, maybe book prior. But this planetary observation plant was really, really fun. Not only was it a museum, which makes it absolutely interesting, but also they have shows, which you usually have to pay for. And these shows are like education, but make it interesting. So if you want to go high and mighty on your education and say today, I learned something, a planetary observation day is for you. Go to the opera or the theater. I'm pretty sure they will look at you weirdly if you look like me, but if you wear classic or gothic Lolita, I think no one will bat an eye. Make sure that if you are literally in an opera, you don't have something big on your head because people behind you would like to see something. If you're like me and you love being by yourself and you love being at home, these tips are for you. You can make these things also by yourself. I think I mentioned it in the beginning. You can be a Lolita and just hang out by yourself. This is possible. Don't let anyone stop you. Cook and bake sweets and then have a photo shoot. Do you remember these crazy ass edits where Angelic Pretty puts their models next to way too oversized cupcakes, slices of cakes, fruit, this shit? Get someone who can photo edit or maybe just I'm pretty sure you don't need to have skills in photo manipulation these days. Make cupcakes, make a photo shoot with cupcakes, and then cut yourself out and edit yourself in Photoshop or whatever other photo manipulating program you use. Maybe even make a whole catalog of things. You can print these things. You can make a fucking magazine with all your cupcake photo shoots. And you can repeat this. You can make a fucking calendar. You can make yourself just a magazine and print it once a month. These photo shoots throughout the year, or maybe bring a yearly magazine out of your column that has fancy photo shoots. You can make even a Photoshop contest out of this. Explaining your chords. You can make something like a fake tech talk. Take talk. You can make something like a fake TED talk where each of the members of your comm is basically standing by herself and the rest is watching her and then Lolita is describing how she chords things, what she's looking out for when she's coding things, what her process is, what she does first, what she does last, why does she chord certain ways with certain things, what she's avoiding, what she's planning on doing more, what is something that makes her scared and she wants to try out. Listen to each other and you have great variety of people that have a different kind of process and also you, maybe you can learn something from that. Maybe someone can give you input on your way of coding things or you can give someone else input. One of my favorite things to do is being in my pajamas, so a pajama party might be a thing. When you're doing a pajama party, maybe you don't want to wear your cord, maybe it's really just a meetup where you wear your Nomi stuff, even if it's Lolita, maybe leave out the petticoat. I don't know what you wear as Nomi Lolita, but pajama party. You can watch creepy movies none of you dares to watch alone. You can play spin the bottle 
and pretend to be 13. And you can also get through everyone's favorite snacks because of course you'll bring snacks, all of you will bring snacks, and then you will sit in a circle and summon Cthulhu who the fuck knows what you're doing, but pajama party is a thing. If you love reading, maybe a book meetup might be for you. There are book circles, basically people who meet up and tell each other about the books they're currently reading because the circle is reading a certain book together. And you can do it with the current books you're reading. It doesn't need to be a regular meetup. Maybe you want to do a regular meetup. Maybe you don't. And if you don't, you can all sit together and bring the book or the books you're reading right now and discuss it with other people. Maybe you'll find an inspiration for a similar book or you find a book that's from another genre that you wouldn't look at with your butt but kind of sounded interesting. If you're like me and you love drawing, this is the thing for you. Paint your favorite Lolita. If you're very bold, you can go naked, but I will keep this PG-13, so get yourself a Lolita and try to draw her. Like, surround her like usual people would do in art class and try to paint her. Maybe each Lolita has a different technique or you basically, oh, you could draw. You could make a draw, I think it's literally it. <laughs> like, I draw pencil, the other one draws watercolors, the other one is like oil painting, the other one is like finger paint, and each of you has obviously is forced to use a different method of working, and all of you need to paint a certain Lolita. Plus you can also paint like, I don't know, the still painting, whatever, but I think painting Lolita is really cool, because if she's wearing a printed dress, you will struggle with making the print, and this is the most interesting part. Imagine people trying to paint prints. <laughs> This is exciting because everyone's going to mess up in some way. <laughs> Ancient people like me who almost hit 30 will like this. Board games! Get to your local library, get some board games, go back home and just sit all together on your floor. <laughs> so you can all sit together and play board games. I'm mentioning the library a lot because you don't need to buy things. Well, it's also like a budget option, I guess, but some of you probably have board games in their cellars Maybe your parents still have some and it's just a nice way to get together Unless you're playing Monopoly in which the game lasts about four hours and everyone's frustrated Maybe you don't play Monopoly or you can do what I'm doing right now. You can Film. Filming is fun with a lot of people especially, you just need a tiny bit of an outline. Meaning someone has to be responsible for where to set up the camera, someone needs to check the light, someone needs to check whether is this sitting correctly or not. And you can make a video out of that. You can make shorts if you want for Instagram and TikTok, you can make longer videos where you talk about certain things. You can just all show your outfits and do kind of a runway and then compile everything together. Here come some sustainable meetup ideas that I thought of. Swap meets. Not sure why I did that. Swap meets are basically a flea market for people who are not from the US. All you do is bring something with you that you would like to change or exchange or sell and in return other people do that as well. So in the end, you end up with a pile of clothing, whether it's bags, shoes, socks, dresses, necklaces, whatever the fuck you want to sell. And you can exchange things. Some people also would like to trade so you don't even need to spend your money. The next one is a challenge. It's a thrift store challenge. Some places, unlike mine, have lots of thrift stores. So you can basically set up an idea. And the idea being, I would like to call this main piece. We need a blouse, we need shoes, we need socks, and we're gonna dress up one Lolita. You're going to divide your Lolitas. <laughs> one group goes this way and the other one goes that way. And after a certain amount of time, all of you meet up at the same place and discuss your finds. <laughs> one thing I love promoting is being vegan. So vegan dairy is a thing. <laughs> I think there's a mixture between legendary and vegan, but it just sound cool. Try new vegan foods. Veganism is fucking sustainable, so is not having children, not flying around, not buying new things, using things until they break, not flying, and several other things. Like being vegan. <laughs> Try eating new foods you haven't tried before. Maybe they even taste good <laughs> without any animal labor. The next one I find really cool. I've never done this. So if you're watching this and you're in my comp, please suggest it. <laughs> it's an embroidery course. Some leaders have 
have altered and fixed their dresses and repaired them with embroidery. Whether it's some discoloration you can't get off, whether it's holes, for whatever reason you have holes in your dresses, uh, I don't judge you. But you can fix that with embroidery. I find this so cute and I think it can make things so much more unique than just, than just repairing it in a you know, replacing fabric kind of way or trying to get rid of the stain or putting something on top of it so you wouldn't see it. And it's a cool skill to have. I can't embroider, so I would find that really cool to know. This meetup is all about natural dyeing. Most of this is polyester anyway, so it doesn't fade, but I have some cotton blouses that do, and sometimes I need to re-dye them. Do you have a white blouse and do you want it to be cream? There's ways for that. Do you want to remove this fucking yellow stain? You can do that. Do you want to make this yellow lace white? You can do that now. <laughs> There's many colors you can use from nature, and you don't need to use harsh chemicals, because everything is chemical, obviously. Everything is chemistry. But some things are nicer to the environment, such as natural dyeing. So go hippie and figure out how to change or enhance the colors of your clothing. Sometimes we cook and there's leftovers left. Make a leftover meetup. Of course, this might not sound too rawry, this, but trust me, you can make a photo shoot after that. Grab all the ingredients that you think will be wasted by the end of the week that you won't be able to eat or where you don't have any ideas how to incorporate them in a food. So you all bring together whatever's been left in your kitchen and you try to make foods with that. Not only is this really interesting because sometimes you would have to think of creative ways to make something work, but also maybe someone has a new recipe for you. Maybe you've tried recently, I have eaten, muffins that have cherries and potatoes in them and they tasted good so i would never do this by myself but they were tasty so i thought cool who has thought of that so i don't know who ever thought of that but a leftover meetup is good for you good for the environment and if you manage to make things look good you might even be able to make a photo shoot afterwards. Make paper. It's totally Rory desk to have nice stationery. And also even nicer to have nicer paper to work on. So you can make paper yourself. There's some things you need. You can obviously improvise at home, but if you want to make it more professional, you need to buy some things. Maybe your local library can lend you these things. Or you get them secondhand. Usually you find them on fucking flea markets. They're so easy to make. Making paper is so easy, it's not hard at all. And you can even bleach it so that you can make paper out of like old magazines, for example, or old newspaper. Not only that, but if you have some nice things you want to put into your paper, like pressed flowers, glitter, your insignia, I don't even know, you can do that while the paper is wet. And when it dries, these things stay on the paper. So then each of you has her own special paper. Here come one in a million ideas, meaning meetups you probably will not do as often, either because they're expensive or they're really like high action loaded, but maybe you want to hear about them too. Host a Lolita mega tea party with other cults. I've been to one once and it was absolutely hilarious. It was mostly the con that was local, but they had invited everyone from whole Germany. <laughs> so we went there and it was absolutely fun. Most people knew each other, but some people didn't. So it was really nice meeting new people. I even met my friend <laughs> Marina there and it was fucking great time. Obviously it's a bit hard to organize these things if you haven't and you might need several people to help you but that's no bummer because big events need big preparation. Maybe you'll even get your hands on a special guest too. Go to an escape room. Escape rooms are handy dandy rooms. Usually it's more than one room <laughs> but it's places where people basically lock you in and you want to escape. The premise is you solve riddles and these bring you closer to first of all solving the mystery that's surrounding you and also opening the door to freedom. Mind you some escape rooms can get dirty, some can force you on your knees, some are a bit disgusting so maybe check prior like call the place and ask them whether it's disgusting whatever they're doing so you can check beforehand if you want to stretch this even further you can make a photo shoot in there. Escape rooms look usually 
cool if you're in like an escape room where you pay 50 euros for a person I can assume they're worth their money. Usually escape rooms have self-made furniture, they have several kind of useless details, kind of the meat of this whole situation and they have a certain theme like 1920s detective or underwater ghost ship or something like that and you can ask these people hey we would like to not play your room but we'd like to make a photo shoot the thing is you will probably need to promise the owners to not publish any of these things in reviews for example because sometimes you can spoil riddles and then it's not as fun for other people but if you're just using it as like a photo shooting place i think they would like that and also you as well because how many comps have you seen that make photo shoots in escape rooms yeah none if you want more preparation time do a scavenger hunt basically in germany it's called chasing a schnitzel and the thing is, you make groups, usually two groups, but you can make more depending on the size of your comp. And you let people search through stores, places, museums, rooms, to finally meet up at a destination space. And the first group wins. It's like you have to make certain riddles for different places. You have to make sure that people in these stores know what you're on because you usually have to ask them beforehand if you want to plant a hint, for example. But you can even do this in a different way. You can just give people a map and then give them riddles like, this is the highest building in the city, can you find it? And then they go there and there's another clue. It involves lots of walking and you should be telling your people beforehand that they probably need tea bodies or boots and not heels for that. If you want the normies to know about us, create a fucking panel about Lolita. Maybe your city is as cool as mine and is pretty woke and they will have panels on pretty much anything. Ask them if you can make one about Lolita fashion, which obviously can involve your whole fucking calm because the more the merrier but also you can tell people why the fuck you look like this you can tell them the roots of lolita you can make a runway too you can let people ask you questions whether they're curious and you can also incorporate this in a bigger event for example there's a convention or there's a specific day celebrating specific cultures and you're like yeah i can use that <laughs> go to a wellness place this might not be for everyone because again you might not have to wear the leader for this but going to wellness is great you can book entire rooms that have a spa a shower how do you call this thing a sauna I think sauna is a thing you will understand. And a place to lie down and obviously a bathroom. And you can book that for like one hour, three hours, six hours. And you can go there with your Lolita friends to hang out in. Basically, it's just relaxation all day. Pro tip, you can get food in there. You can also bring your own food in there and even eat ice cream because that's what I did when I was in wellness. And I loved it. And lastly, make a video with your cum about your cum and if you plan on making the 27th documentary on Lolita fashion go ahead and do it maybe your cum is having new ideas that other cums haven't had maybe the way of you phrasing things is different maybe you take a whole different approach think of cunk on earth but make it cunk on Lolita maybe it's more a satirical way of portraying Lolita maybe it's a more fun way maybe it's so dumped down that kids could understand it. Who the fuck knows? Maybe it's mathematical. Can you measure the ratio of my skirt to my tits? I don't know. Probably you can. Math Lolita should be a thing. I hope you got inspired. There's lots of things I want to still try and do in Lolita and I hope my com will catch up and have some more great ideas that I obviously haven't come up with yet. There's so many things to do, so many places to see. And I want to stress again, you don't have to do that with a comm. You can do all these things by yourself. No one is stopping you. And I find it really important to hear from alone leaders because I know they're there, you know they're there, maybe it's you. And I know that so many people love this fashion, but rather don't show it on the outside because they're by themselves. And that's 
concept. I hope these ideas inspired you. If you have any more ideas or if you want to make a suggestion to a specific idea I put out, write it down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video and remember, love yourself and use coconut oil for you, it's really good.